Hey guys, this is Kurt from AcidByte, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our new AcidByte titles in DaVinci Resolve. So, I've got a brand new project here in DaVinci with two clips on the timeline already. But before we get started in DaVinci, we want to go to the folder that we downloaded from the AcidByte website, and you'll see this Assets folder inside here. And then you want to click on this PDF, and when you open that, it's going to give you links to each of the fonts that you need to download to make these titles operational, okay? If you don't download the fonts, then you won't be able to use the assets in this pack. So let's do that first. Now I've already installed the fonts, so I'm going to jump straight ahead into the DaVinci Resolve folder. And when we open this folder, we'll see that there's just one DRFX file. And when we double click on that, DaVinci is going to ask us, do we want to install? And we're going to hit yes, install. And after I've installed it, I can go to my toolbox and twirl down the titles menu. And you'll see I have my acid bite bold titles already installed. And these are organized into horizontal and vertical. And that means that they can be used in nine by 16 timelines, or of course in classic 16 by nine with the horizontal. So because I'm using, I'm working in a uh, horizontal timeline here, I'm going to use one of these horizontal designs in a minute. But I just wanted to mention that though the assets are actually made for 4K timelines, you can use them in HD or any other resolution with no problems. Now, if we hover over our different title designs here, we'll see that it gives us a nice little preview. And I'll just grab this one right here and drag it onto the timeline. And it's already going to have a transparent background. And if we come over here to our video settings, you can see that we can manipulate any part of this design. So we can change the text here, the font, um, the size, the color, position, anything that you need to do, it's here. So let's see what we can do. So let me showcase this for you by using this uh, top left piece of text. I'm just going to change the actual text to acid bite, play with the color and the size a little bit here. You can see, you can move the position around. And you have uh, all of these different controls for each different piece of the design. So I can go to my next piece of text and turn that red as well, and turn my little logo red, and the, uh, the large Fear the New Wave title. This is how you, know, you manipulate this uh, title design, even the graphic elements, like this rounded rectangle. And with the rectangle, you can actually manipulate it in other ways. You can change the width and the height. Um, you can change, obviously, the position. So maybe I'll bring it down here, and I'll turn it into like a little frame that wraps around this, uh, the main text here. Nice. So that's a pretty brief, simple tutorial. There's not a lot to it. Um, just want to give you an idea of all the ways that you can control these titles. They all work the same as this, you know, with the size, font, color, it's all accessible. Um, we're really excited to see what you guys come up with and how you use these. As always, I want to say thank you for downloading, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.